Hey, check it out. Actually remembered the shotgun this time. Let's do this. Let's go. Let's go hunt ourselves some hunters. Oh, I'm going to kill you, hunter. All right, where you at, man? Where you at? All right, there you are. Just uh <laughs> just slowly and casually walking around the corner to your death. Yeah, this combat knife actually really effective against these hunters. If there's only one hunter. Cuz basically you can get them with one shotgun shell if you're lucky enough. That will floor them and that combat knife It'll just keep them on the floor, so... Yeah, they ain't gonna be getting back up. Saves on your ammo, so you do not need to worry. But I tell you, if there's more than one hunter, don't even try that, because... You will get owned. Yeah, if uh, there's more than one hunter, you wanna keep your shotgun out, possibly alternate between the two hunters. So I don't think there's any point where there's more than one hunter, so... Uh, you don't need to worry all that much, but two hunters, they can be a handful. They can be a handful, right. I think we're heading up to the second floor because, yeah, we have to... Yeah, we'll find out where this doorknob goes. That would be floor two. Right, to anyone who is unaware of this fact, Resident Evil Code Veronica is actually getting a re-release in beautiful, glorious HD on your Xbox 360. It might be coming out on PS3, I don't really know. I don't own a PS3, so... <clears throat> I don't know which games are being released on the PS3, but... I don't know, maybe, possibly. Now, I'm not gonna get Code Veronica on Xbox 360 because I already own the damn game on the GameCube, so... Me getting more than one version of this game... That's just stupid. But, yeah, the reason I brought that was, I was actually interested in what achievements would be for this game. Because, yeah, it's, um, I think it's games on demand, so it's going to come with achievements. Oh, yeah, there's a camera in here. That camera is actually ridiculously easy to dodge. I don't think I've ever been caught by that camera. So, yeah, there's, um, going to be achievements for the Xbox 360 version of this. And I wanted to know what achievements there would be for this. And I have to say, I'm really disappointed. Because there's 12 achievements in total. 10 of them are for the one player game. You know, like the main game. And 2 of the achievements are for bonus game. Or battle mode. Alright, grab those. Yeah, um, the 10 achievements for single player are actually really easy to get. They're basically for playing through the game. That's it. You don't have to do any extra additional stuff. Like, if I was going to make the achievements for this game, I'd come up with stuff like, uh, for example, knife 10 zombies or kill 10 enemies with, you know, knife kills. And that gets you some game score. Stuff like that. And it would actually encourage people to use the combat knife in this game and experiment with it because, like I said, multiple times a lot of people do not use the combat knife in Code Veronica. But no, most of the achievements they're for taking down bosses. And not even the optional bosses because there's some bosses that you don't have to actually kill. It's for the compulsory ones. I think there's one achievement which is optional. You don't have to uh it's um give the hemostatic to Shit, what's that dude's name? Freaking... Prison Guard! Prison Guard! Let's call him Prison Guard until I can remember his name. Freak, I, that, I'm gonna be scratching my head now. Rodrigo! There we go. Rodrigo Juan Ravel. That was it. Yeah, giving the medication to him. It's another car. Oh, this one's actually quite tricky. I'm gonna have to uh, time this. Yeah, they run again. And I'm gonna go now. Yes! Screw you, camera! You don't know shit! Yeah, one achievement for giving the medication to Rodrigo. That's like the only optional one. The rest of it just taking down bosses. So chances are you're gonna get all 10 achievements 
just from playing the game, not doing any like additional stuff. That's not to say this game isn't like ridiculously easy, but it's basically on the basis that you can beat this game, you're gonna get all the achievements, and that sort of takes the fun out of getting achievements, you know. Take the turntable key. I will take the turntable key and read a file. Secret passage note. The underground passage which leads to the mansion where Alexia and I live has been badly damaged. Although I can never allow the unwashed to see Al Alexia, I cannot go on using the, under <coughs> the underground waterway that those local people made either. Oh, those local people. Oh yes, I think I'll have those prisoners build a bridge. It must be a gorgeous bridge that befits the perfection that is Alexia. Of course, I must kill everyone who's involved in the construction of the bridge after it's done, so that no one will know about the existence of our mansion. But that is okay, as I have no problem executing such matters. Once the bridge is completed, I'll seal the mansion entrance door at the end of the underground waterway. The entrance of the waterway is locked by the diorama trick, ensuring the security of our mansion, Alfred Ashford. Okay. She's so basically... Uh, I'm going to show you this quickly. Um, it shows us something needs to go here. Leave three armies here. Yeah, you should know what item or items. It's plural because we're getting three of them. Yeah, it's, it's pretty obvious what goes there because we got those items as, as Claire. Okay, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, um, achievements. Yeah, you're going to get those ten achievements just from playing the game. Uh, the other two achievements for battle game... I don't know, they might be trickier to get because, well, I don't know actually, because I haven't actually played all that much battle game, um, so they might be easy, I don't know, the only thing I've unlocked in battle game is Claire Redfield's costume 2, but the achievements they're for unlocking the weapons, which I haven't actually even tried to do, to be honest with you, so, I don't know, they might be hard, they might be easy. I can't tell you for sure. Yeah, got my shotgun back. You hunters are in trouble. I don't think this recording is going to be all that long, actually, because I know the point where I want to play up to before I save my game. So this might just be, you know, one video long. Plus, it's pretty late. It's like 3 a.m. So I'm going to have a lot less energy than I usually would to record, so... I think we get the cutscene this time. <laughs> yeah. Long time no see, Chris. I wonder who that is. Wesker? <gasps> it's Wesker. I'm gonna do that for every scene Wesker's in, by the way. Of course he's still alive. Nothing can kill Wesker. What are you doing here? I came for Alexia. Who? An organization hired me to capture her. Wait. You attack the island! And my sister! Oh no! Oh no! Wesker's going badass! This is why I love this character, man. You can't not like Wesker. <clears throat> I wonder what the excuse for letting us live this time is gonna be, by the way. Cause he has the chance to kill Chris right here, but it's not no gonna happen. How much I hate you. you destroyed my plans. So now I've sold my soul to a new organization. Would that organization be Uruboros? Die. Holy shit. Wesker, you got freaking lizard eyes, man. How'd that happen? Here's a little secret, Chris. I figured out that your sister is now in the Antarctic. With Alexia. It's too bad you won't be seeing her again. Oh well, thanks for the information. So that if we do survive somehow, we know exactly where to go. <laughs> Alexia? Alexia? Yeah, I knew he was gonna say that. <laughs> oh shit, Chris, you okay, man? 
He's in a freaking bad state right there. Oh, a bandersnatch. A bandersnatch, okay. I'm down with it. Let's roll, motherfucker. Okay, they're already equipped. They're already equipped. Freaking slap me in the face, dude. Wow. You were easy. You were easier than any bandersnatch I've faced up to this point. Oh, wait. Almost completely forgot. Right. When I said I did some research on this game before I started last playing it, one of the things I did research on... Ah, uh, one of the things that um, I found out... Apparently, you can find Wesker's sunglasses in this room. I'm guessing it's after that cutscene because Chris basically punched the sunglasses off of Wesker's face. So, it would only make sense that the sunglasses would only appear after this cutscene, right? But the thing is, the multiple playthroughs of this, I've never found Wesker's sunglasses. And, like, I'm tapping A on everything right now. Freaking everything. And I don't see them anywhere. So, I don't know. But it might be only specific versions of the game bear that in mind. It might not actually be the GameCube version. So, if you're playing another version of this, maybe check around this room after that cutscene. And you might find Wesker's sunglasses. And what they supposedly do is they work in the same way as the Gold Luger. Um, in the sense that they unlock Wesker in battle mode, but you can unlock Wesker just by playing battle mode anyway, same as Steve Burnside, so they're not, uh, you don't need them to be able to play as Wesker, that's what I'm trying to say here, so. Um, if, if they are in the GameCube version, feel free to tell me exactly where I'm supposed to look, but, you know, I just, I just, I tried to find them just now and they were nowhere in sight so I really don't think Wesker's sunglasses are in this version of the game I searched through this <laughs> I found pretty much every item in this game never come across Wesker's sunglasses so there you go uh, the information I read up on uh, was the Dreamcast version by the way so it probably works in the Dreamcast version. It doesn't definitely work in the Dreamcast version. Okay, so I want to be going through this door first. Because, yeah, we have to go through the main door to get the uh, three proofs, and we have to go through this door to get the uh, the Clement. Before we can progress. So, yeah, um, it might be the Dreamcast version. It might not be this version. I don't know. I don't know everything about this game. I don't know everything. I'm volleyball. Volleyball? Fuck, that's not how you pronounce that word. See, there you go. Proof right there. Frick, you know it's 3 o'clock when you just say random meaningless mean bollocks. I have to say. Man. It's that fun time of the day where nothing makes sense. I know for a fact you're alive, dude. Ain't freaking alive anymore, are you? Nee, nee. Okay, so yeah, basically this is gonna lead us to the basement. Obviously, because it's going down. But, um, yeah, if we try to get to there from the other side, as you can see, yeah, it's kind of misty down here. That's some pretty bad mist. That mist is gonna kill you. Except I don't think you can actually walk down there it gives you like a little warning message or something so we had to do this first we had to set on the fan and clear this place up all right I think I'm gonna have to stop using these submachine guns soon because we're probably nearly completely out of ammo here all right uh, right yeah, one thing I love about these submachine guns is, though, like, if there's two zombies, you will aim the guns at, like, two different directions to get both zombies. I think that's brilliant. So freaking stylish, man. I hope the zombies were dead, because I kind of... You have to check before you leave the... Oh, shit. That guy lo Oh, man, that guy loves getting right up close into your face, doesn't he? 
But you know what? I'm gonna freaking kill you with a knife. And it's gonna be easy. No, don't you get up. Don't you get up. Yeah. See, that's what I'm talking about. One shotgun shell. Combat knife, that's all you need if there's only one hunter. They are not a problem at all. Oh yeah, you're gonna find out why I've been carrying the pistol with me all this way, by the way. It's a work desk. Various tools are placed upon it. I can modify my Glock 17. It's called a Glock 17. Okay. Is that even a real gun name? I don't know. Maybe my brother knows because he was in the infantry. Okay, you've taken the enhanced handgun. Okay, cool. And we've taken this also, Clement A, and my inventory is full. That's a bad thing. So yeah, um, this is a upgrade for your handgun. Unlike the one we uh, upgraded Claire's handgun with, you can't actually take it with you as an item. You have to do it then and there. So that's why you need the pistol on you. Is if you don't have the pistol on you, you ain't gonna be modifying no guns. Alright, so okay. Have the chemical, I have my upgrade, so all we need to do We need to get those three proofs. We need to unlock the underground passageway as stated in the memo. And we can use that to get the final item that we need and get the hell off this fucking prison island. And finally do something important. Alright, so... Yeah, we're going through this way. I think I'm actually uh, going to use the next save point. Hit up the next save point. Which should be about two rooms away, I think. You know the first time I played this... Um, like, I already mentioned my sense of direction sucks, but you have no idea how much it really badly sucks. I honestly thought the easiest save point to use would be the basement underground one. You know where we fought the giant sandworm? Or the gulp worm? And the thing at Rodrigo? Yeah, that's save point right there. And actually looking back at that now, that's actually the save point that's the furthest away, man. It actually takes effort to get to that save room. So it's just ridiculous. Oh, I could have just... Oh, shit. We need to reload. Oh, you reload... Well, okay. I guess if you get hit whilst you reload in... I think he's already dead. I don't need to do this. I think if you get hit whilst you reload in... He uh, reloads faster. I don't know. Yeah, it's just ridiculous. I was going all the way down to the basement to use that save point, and that's just basically the save point that's the furthest out of reach. Like, use any other save point than that one. That's how bad my sense of direction sucks. I would actually go down to the basement, use that freaking save point, which is just ridiculous. Because there's one right down here. Yeah, um, I think I'm actually going to sort my inventory as well before I save the game because... Yeah, I want to mix some herbs, but I'll do that off screen so don't worry about that. Just basically mix some herbs. Uh, make it so I don't have to basically go through hundreds and thousands of items to find something that I need whenever I'm using this uh, save box right here. So, yep, that's what I'm going to do. So, that's it for now. I will see you next time where we will get three proofs. And we'll take our boss. I will see you for then. Bye.